Hi, I'm Paul of Snakes Who Life Zambia. And this uh, rather dignified fellow you see here, Thelotornis copensis, or also known as the Southern or Savannah Vine Snake. Quite common around here. This one is uh, virtually an adult, it was captured not too far from here. And you may be able to see here the inflation of the neck area. Well, that's what this particular snake does to warn you, basically telling you it's agitated. It's not very happy being held. But uh, although it is regarded as one of the most toxic snakes in Africa, they're also fairly docile and um, very few bites occur. In fact, I believe the, the last time a person was bitten by one of these snakes and who actually died was a couple of decades ago. You may also be able to see when it has the urge the orange tongue with the black tip. It's a fascinating snake. There you can see it's got its mouth open. It's not very happy with me because I'm holding it. And there's the orange tongue with the black tip. Please note how well camouflaged these snakes are. I believe in the Bemba language, it's known as Kankuni, which means something to the effect of a dry stick. Look at the body colouring, very much the same as the dry twigs and the branches on the trees. And this particular snake in the wild, you could walk past it within half a metre, and it has this characteristic that you may be able to see where a whole section of its body is just suspended in the air and it will stay like that for hours and hours and hours and hours. One of the characteristic identifying factors on this particular snake you may be able to see there on top of its head is the inverted Y shape on the green head. The other snake is still agitated but as with most tree and bush snakes, they are very agile climbers. They're exceptional climbers. These particular ones, unlike the Brunslung, will tend to be tend to occur more in low bushes and reeds and reed beds and swamp areas rather than in high trees. And they'll freely eat chameleons, they'll possibly go for bird's eggs, and they've also been known to eat other snakes. An interesting snake. Unlike many other snakes, it has an extremely, extremely good eyesight. Uh, you may be able to see, if I can come closer here, the pupils of the eye are a horizontal keyhole shape. And this snake is said to have binocular vision like a bird of prey. Thelotornis capensis. And this particular one was captured by my friend Norman. Good find, good find. This snake is about to strike at me now, so I'll no longer agitate it. Just let it go into the bush here.